Hello everyone, I'm back again with another video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna give you the full introduction of OIV Package Creator, and also how to create OIV Package using this software. At first download Open OIV Package Creator. After downloading it, extract it any way you want. You will have the installation file, click on the installation file to install the software. Check the box and click install. After installing OIV Package Creator, you will have the software. Run it. You can also see other games here. But now we will only use Grand Theft Auto 5. Put your mod's name here. Select version. And use the tag option if you want. So at the next page you have to write your information. You can put your social accounts link here. Then in the description page, you have to put information about your mods. You can also add link and link title. Optional is optional. You can write more information about your mod, if you want. If you have a license for your mod, write it down in this page. Now in design page, you can select background colors and logo. Now the most important part. Right here the root means your main game folder. You have to use add folder to reach your desired location. Add files that you want to be added in that location. Add new archive means the RPF files in your GTA 5. Go to your main GTA 5 location. You have to write down the folder name, in which you want to install your mod. In my case I want to put my mods inside update folder, so I copied the name and paste it there. Then I want to put my mods in x64 folder, so I copied that name and added that. You have to navigate to your location where you want to put your mods like this. Right here we did a mistake. 
we put the DLC packs folder location in our update folder. But the DLC packs folder is located in the x64 folder. If you do this mistake then in the time of installing this in game it will show error. Right here we have to add a new archive and name it dlc.rpf. You have to add archive if you want to put your mods in any .rpf file. Now we have to open OpenIV to enter the dlc.rpf. So in the dlc.rpf we have another folder. So we have to add the folder in the package installer too. So now we need to add archive as we have to enter the .rpf folders. At least. Now we have reached our desired location, now we can add our mods file that we want to be added here. I'm using a replace car, so I have to select all of the files one by one. If you want to add more items in other folder from the root directory, then you have to select root in the package creator. You also have to navigate through the .rpf, or folder, like me. Remember you have to add archive if you want to put your mod in any .rpf file. Then you can add files. It will replace the files in the directory with your modified files. I just showed an example. Then hit create to create AOIV package installer. Then install it just by dragging it into your OpenIV. Or use the package installer. Congrats you have created your first OIV package installer. After installation you will have your files in the directory that you selected. Also you will see the RPFR also in the mods folder. You can replace prop, clothing, cars, weapons like this. I will create a separate tutorial on how to create OIV package installer for add-on cars.
I didn't include this in this video because the add on cars is going to be a complicated tutorial, so subscribe my channel and like this video. Hope you're having the best day of your life.